This is a game in the tier 8 French heavy tank, the AMX 5100. A uh, good tank, one of the most uh, used tournament tanks. Um, it has a 6 shot clip, a lot of burst damage. Gun handling is kind of middle of the road average at best, but uh, the burst can't be beat. Um, and this is on Hidden Village. Um, and they recently changed this map, uh, mostly in this village area over here. I used to joke that they called it Hidden Village because puppies didn't actually know that there was anything over here. They didn't know that the site existed, so there would n never be anyone that ever went over here. Nowadays, though, more and more people play in this area, and it's actually a pretty interesting area to play in, um, and we'll talk a little bit about that as we go through this uh, fight. So that's I'm going to head off towards that village, and I, um, I'm platooned with Lefty here, and I convince him to, to come down here and help me out. Taking an IS-3 down here isn't always the uh, the best thing to do, but uh, I sort of coerced him because I wanted him to help me. And so what we're looking for is we want to uh, try to keep them out of this cutout if we can, or at least spot them going in. And so one thing that you can do is you can go to the edge of this church, and that's like something that this, that this T-71 could have done, um, which would have given him a lot more information than driving to where he, he did drive. So what you'll see is that I'll spot their guys that, are, that end up coming in here. It's a trap! And I'll miss my... We'll bounce the first shot, miss the second shot, and so you can see the reticle takes a little bit to aim in, but it is, uh, again, the burst of it can't be beat. And then right there, the tank doesn't really have any armor, but I'm giving that guy such a sharp angle to shoot at. All, what he should have done is he should have shot towards my turret, um, and he would have either hit my turret or the shoulder, um, which would have penned, but he shot for the basically the side of my tank. At, at more or less an auto bounce angle. And so now I'm just reloading, and so Lefty is here on you know, my left, and uh, he's getting some shots in. He's taking some shots from these guys, uh, but uh, he should be okay. He's using these buildings as a little bit of coverage. Unfortunately, I can't really help him other than uh, moral support because I'm still loading. So these guys are mostly one shot so I need to try to take them out as soon as I possibly can. It's a trap. This T-44 is coming along the back side here so I need to clear one side out. And we sh we're okay over here. We've got still the majority of our tanks over there. The T-29 in the middle. Not usually where you see T-29, but um, he's doing a decent job. And then so now ideally what we'll do is we'll be able to clear out this T-44. Not really too concerned about the Leopard. It's a trap. Although I think Lefty just shot him. And then I kind of screwed up that last shot. It drifted a little right, but I should have shot more essentially on the tank and then it would have guaranteed to do damage. And then, so now I'm reloading again, so I need to wait. We still got control up here. These guys on this uh, southwest side have pushed in a little bit, which you, know, you can argue that maybe they did or did not want to do that, uh, especially considering that this other T-29 that was over here left towards this middle. So we've got control of the middle and we will pretty shortly have control of the northeast. But like a lot of maps, um, this is an area where once you secure this area, you don't want to keep pushing along this south. You don't want to push across this nine line because it becomes very easy for the enemy team to, to shoot you and pick you off there. So what we want to do is we want to clear this and then we want to go back to either the middle and or that southwest area. And in this case, because these guys are slowly getting converged upon, they, they pushed up pretty far and they, you know, they've got guys flanking them essentially. And so we've cleared up this side pretty well, um, the uh, the northeast. Um, specifically, we've taken out four of their eight, um, and uh, we just need to go back and make sure that we can clean up the rest. And then see how these T-29s are pushing across this middle plateau? Once you lose this southwest area, you want to hang out in this middle area here because it allows you, particularly if you can hold down and, you know, the T-20 took out their artillery, um, you can 
sit around in this middle area and hold down and shoot back at these guys and you'll have a much uh, better time. And then you'll see that this gun, when you have time to completely aim like this, uh, is a really good gun for uh, being able to take out tanks. And then sometimes, on the other hand, the gun just trolls you, and you miss a leopard one, or a leopard, and then you track him. And then he kills your arty because you suck at playing 5100s. Be sad. It's a trap! But lefty gets that guy too. And then now, see how we're still put these guys are still pushing up underneath here, so they've got a, all of their tanks over in that area. So what you want to do if you're these guys is that you don't want to want to pressure too much there because uh, there's a ramp that goes up there, so you can use this uh, uh, your turret armor and essentially to hold them there. You don't need to push in there, and you don't necessarily want to to back off. You can use there's this little hump that's over here, for example, that you can use. And ideally, what you wanted to do is you want to come around to the flank and get behind them over here, you know, or over here. Um, but these guys are just going to continue to essentially make themselves uh, a target and it's going to end up costing them. You can see that most of the team was uh, pretty inexperienced. And then ideally what we want to do is we want to be able to get there before this T-29 dies. So I'm trying to get up there as soon as I can. And then I see that the Ferdinand is here. It's a trap! And he hits the side of my turret at an auto bounce angle, so lol. And then there's a Karn who I screw up on at times, but uh, Lefty's able to kill him. And then I have one shot left. Lefty is one shot to this Ferdinand, but I'm not. So I need to take my time and, and make sure that I kill the Ferdinand if I'm going to allow him to shoot me. So now we're both basically one shot. I'm, I'm reloading though, so Lefty's going to wait for me. And again, a lot of this is communication in terms of me basically telling him to, to be patient and wait. We know that the 110 YOLO'd off to kill the T-29, so it's a possibility that either he will come back on the same flank as the T-29 or he'll come around over on this side. And then I'm going to reverse peekaboo on this T-29. Probably should have gone a little bit further back in retrospect, but... It's a trap. And he hits me with HE. And then I'm actually lucky that I didn't get killed there. Um, if he was firing AP, he wasn't going to have much of an angle to shoot at, but because he was firing HE, he hit the you know front left track um, and, it, and it dealt damage, so I'm lucky that it didn't roll higher. Um, and like I said, I, I think the 110 might be coming this way still, so I take a peek over and look. I don't actually see him, um, so I, at this point we know that the 110 is one shot because I got a shot on him before he went over at the T29. So as long as Lefty and I stick together, uh, we can just charge him, uh, and although he'll kill one of us, presumably, and then the other one should be able to finish the job. I have four shots in the clip, so Lefty's going to lead. Because if he kills Lefty, then I have four chances to kill him. Um, but if he kills me, then Lefty only has one chance. Somewhat less, because he's actually ammo racked at this point. He actually ends up being behind us. Uh, he just probably took a, a kind of a slow route. And uh, Lefty's able to pick him off. Um, so anyways, uh, 
at the end there, it's more about talking, uh, but it, especially at that beginning here, we ran into a lot of tanks over uh, in this village side, and we actually ended up trading relatively well, which is, is, is important. But again, what you don't want to do is you don't want to continue pushing across here. You want to make sure that you come back either to the middle or, or to this side. And in that case, soon after we lost, uh, I'm sorry, soon after we won the village side, we lost the... Uh, the valley side um, so it's important to be able to come back and it would have been nice if our t29s had instead of pushing keep continuing to push in there had actually come back or stayed in the middle because either option would have helped us out a lot but overall they actually ended up doing fairly well in that game given um, their uh, skill level so if we look at the stats we get the uh, Always awesome steel wall in the 5100 because it's obviously the most armored tank in the world. Um, got lucky with a few bounces and leopard shot a couple times, so that was technically stat padding. Um, but we did the majority of the damage, so we did the majority of the lifting in that town, and then we had to come back and uh, and kill, finish off the rest of that southwest as well. Interestingly, those T29s that were in the middle ended up doing a significant amount of damage, even though they were pretty deep red players. The the <clears throat> and essentially that goes to show you two things: one, that you can get re reasonably good shots from that middle area, and two, um, if you put bad players in a good position that they're you know sometimes not always but they're, they're at least sometimes going to be able to to deal damage and and that's an important aspect of the game that you know it's not just pointing and clicking and being able to to shoot things it's being in the right position is is critically important uh especially considering when you look at the southwest side which is pretty much everybody else on this list um those guys didn't do that much damage even though they had a lot of tanks over there um, and we basically faced a greater share of their higher tier tanks over on the village side but we were able to get through them more efficiently um, so that's uh, about it for hidden village and i hope that that was at least somewhat helpful um, and again also for the 5100 that's one of the first times that i've actually shown this tank um, uh, one thing that i wanted to say about it uh, in addition is that it's it's not really that great of a of a sniper but as a sort of flanker brawler um, is where it, it typically excels you know where you can take one or two sh you know let's say one shot to get three in return three to four shots in return and then you you just duck out and those types of exchanges end up being really good for you uh, in the 5100 and those are the types of encounters that you should uh, be looking to try to force uh, so that's about it so thanks for watching